everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of the ABS show coming straight to you from where? New, new York, York City. City. We're so excited about today's show. Before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Go on Instagram and follow us at the ABS show. Mm -hmm. You can comment as well throughout the entire conversation. Like, share, and subscribe, right? Yes. Hi, yes. everyone. Hey, Hi. All right, so what are we talking about today? We're talking about the garment industry. Mm. Oh. You see that? The garment industry. So Ethiopia's... Okay. I'm so sorry to cut you off, yeah. sweetie, because I just remembered something. What? We have been nominated for... The Ghana Entertainment Awards! Yes! yes. yes. And if you want us to win... Ah, vote! You vote have to vote. Vote, mm. vote, vote. And vote, vote again. Vote. Tell your mother, your sister, your little thing, vote like you're voting for Nigeria. Your like your <laughs> and, the th and the beautiful thing about this is that you can vote multiple times. Okay? Yes. So keep voting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to leave the link below. Go yeah. on our Instagram as well yep. um, for more information. Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we can talk about today's um, topic. What are we talking about? We're talking about the garment industry. That's why I have on my finery. Oh. And you guys are all the garment. So, do you, does it, you know, I know a lot of people know that the garment industry historically has been in China, Indonesia, things like that, in different countries. But now Ethiopia what has is a the garment bustling. industry? E the garment industry, fashion, fashion, okay, clothing, clothing. Fashion. sewing, manufacturing, yeah, clothing. Yeah. So that's the garment industry, and Ethiopia now is one of a big, as a big player in the garment industry. But it's some unfortunate news that their workers are paid the least out of every country, even mm. African countries or Asian countries. They're paid twenty six dollars an hour. Mm. Uh, sorry, wait, wait, ah, wait, 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 I was about to say, sorry, ah, no job. Can I walk I there? Job. I I job. Sorry, I'll I'll better shoot my ass to Ethiopia. <laughs> twenty six dollars a month. Wow. Okay, can you imagine being paid twenty six dollars a month? Damn. And it's a budding industry. And I know that one of the, one of the strategies is trying to be the, the leader in garment industry right. yeah. because yeah. what Asians now. did was they did char charge cheaper for manufacturing, so it was really more lucrative for you to go out to outsource mm -hmm. to make your stuff. So Ethiopia is kind of on the helm. I think I think it's brilliant that on the helm of garment industry, but now they're trying to do that whole usurping because how much twenty six dollars a month? How much is that being paid? The other you know in South Africa they pay getting paid like two. 77 mm. and Kenya, I think it's 207, 207 a month. Yes. So they're getting paid like you know, it's not still not a lot of money, mm. honestly, but they're getting paid so much money for an industry that is actually growing from 1.44 million to go, going into the billions now. It makes like you know, what I'm saying it's going, it's going more and more. So now, why can't you? There's no minimum wage in Ethiopia, too. That's the yeah. thing that's happening. Mm. So people are talking about why is there no minimum wage? And a lot of these garment workers are not even trained to start sewing, they just throw them there. You kind of learn, you know trial by go. error as you go hmm. and so wow. they're not being trained they're, they're not they don't really have basic skills so you're not training them you're paying them um, a little bit of money and it's mostly women once hmm. again that are a part of the industry so let's discuss why the, co the, the cost is so low for these um, workers and what can be done more lucratively in making this work because I think it's empowering that Ethiopia is now the go-to yeah. for H&M and for that you know like yeah. a lot of these brands that were going to Asia so let's talk about how what you think yeah first of all the government of Ethiopia mm. assured the Asian companies mm. that they will get a low uh, uh, salary based uh, payments mm. with their citizens. Can you imagine? Mm. That's a gateway to everything. Mm. When the government is telling the Chinese people, come, come and do you the fact or whatever, <laughs> our citizens will collect your peanuts. Wow. Mm. That's embarrassing, you know. So it's 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 really huge news with, with everything that is happening uh, right in Africa, exploring cheap labor with the Western world and this huge companies. Mm -hmm. It's really disappointing. So the government gives the gateway to everything. Mm -hmm. That's where we're gonna start from. Yeah. Yeah, I feel mm -hmm. like well, when you look at it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Low cost country sourcing is when companies look for company, um, countries that provide the cheapest amount of labor mm -hmm. so that it can yield a high amount of Who's bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, if you're doing this, kind of makes sense because that way you get those power companies coming to them. Yes. Right? And as such, when you have enough in there, you can now go ahead and increase. Mm -hmm. Which is how China went from making little to making $304 for a month mm -hmm. per, you know, per worker. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, even though it kind of looks like it's little, because it, the cost think? of living in, in Ethiopia is mm -hmm. $110 a month. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't even come up to half of what you would spend, but then it's a growing process. Mm -hmm. And I think they also should work on their union, the, um, the trade unions. The trade, yeah. They need to strengthen the trade unions as well, because yeah. if you don't have if you don't have st strong trade unions that actually stand for these workers, yes. it's going to continue. It's going to always be like this. Yeah. Work, they're going to take advantage of the workers. Yeah. Companies are going to take advantage of the company, the people that are outsourcing this, this yeah. labor. Of to course. Them. 
with the onset of this news, the, that's when the, the now the now the bodies are saying, oh, we're gonna start considering doing a minimum wage because now it's out there and the universe knows about it. So now they're considering doing the minimum wage, which is really great. But another thing I was gonna say that we always, I know I talk about the show that we talk about it on the show that one thing Africa is lacking is industry, and I think it's really really great that we have now industries so other countries can start talking about creating jobs and job sectors where people are using us because that's how we bolster ours, not only by our resources but making sure the resources are being produced yeah. and you know produced and then sold back out. Yeah, yeah, that's a very smart one. I mean, there are two sides of this. There's mm -hmm. the benefits, the pros and the cons. Exactly. On the pro aspect, they will suffer now to enjoy later. Oh, really? <laughs> that's what I'm really? saying. Really? Yeah. Yes, because <laughs> the neighboring, neighboring countries mm -hmm. are making, like even South Africa, theirs there is like 200, 244. Yeah, mm -hmm. 200 something a month. But being that Ethiopia is $26 a month, if they strengthen their trade union, mm -hmm. if the government really know what they are doing, mm -hmm. on the long run, they'll benefit from it but because yeah. the whole of the world, including China, will lose that manufacturing you know, market that China really has. Right. And, and this is exactly kind of what China that. did. Mm -hmm. So me, I don't mind that. Even if I was part of the economy, if I was the head of the country, they should suffer now and enjoy later. That's how I see it. And that should also extend to other African so countries. Other African countries country. should learn from it. Mm -hmm. Because it's normal. If you give me the same quality, for less, I'd rather go pay less mm -hmm. for what I can get for the same quality when I know the quality is the same. So if South Africa is doing 207 a month for this same job, mm -hmm. manufacturing and tailoring, they're not going to get as much inflow mm -hmm. as Ethiopia is going to get in the next five years. But what's wrong with them meeting kind of like doing like maybe 60 or 70 or 100 dollars instead of doing 240, 26 dollars? That so, is the so, 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 so when does the conversation about knowing your worth comes in? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So you have all these women yes. mm -hmm. working for this amount of money. Yeah, Like you mentioned, China mm -hmm. garments, um, they earn 340. Yeah. I have Bangladesh here, 95 dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I know people with degrees mm -hmm. in Ghana that, that are working. not even making yeah. $340 a month. Mm. Mm. People with degrees in Ghana mm. working. So at, at some point, mm -hmm. you have to look within yourself yeah. and know your worth yes. of, you know, of working. You can't yeah. be you know, breaking your back because this is labor job. Yes, you know, okay. labor Daddy. intensive. <laughs> it's, 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 it when is. you get Daddy. hurt, you can't even pay if your you doctor's bill. Do you, Nobody else will do this. That's the thing. That's, that's his, another point I, I have down here mm -hmm. too. Because if you don't do it, yeah. guess Nobody what? Else Somebody's mm -hmm. will Somebody come else and, and is willing to well. do it. So that's the thing. So because we know people have been, especially because of poverty, mm -hmm. people have been programmed to take whatever it is mm -hmm. to earn a living, survive and defeat it. So if you think that you want to come out and stand in front of all these people and tell them, no, you're what? Let's say no. Let's try. They'll be like, Oga, or you. You are on your own. Because mm -hmm. I need past. to feed my children exactly. tonight. I need to go home tonight with some kind of pay or yeah. something. This is so the union it falls on the government. And this is where the union has to come in. It falls the, on the government. Because the government is using this for its own gain. Yeah. Exactly. Because yeah. yeah. they're, they're getting the subsidies. Are they for the people? Definitely, yeah. Yes, you're right. You're so absolutely right. For the they tell the Asians that come to our country, you're, you're going to get it cheaper right here producing these materials, mm -hmm. you know? And this is the only, this is all that its citizens know. So who's not going to open up their minds and let them know that you're worth more than this? And and we what you said, T, about you know get, where the, the 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 most place to get it cheaper and all that. How long are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. you, Just, know? Uh, you do it as know. you do it <laughs> until you're known. Until mm. you become the hub of production, for yeah. and then you can now start making demands. This exactly, is, it is what it is. You want to get customers. You're your new market entrant. You want to make. You want to get customers. You want to mm -hmm. get people to patronize you. What do you do? You drop your prices down yes. mm -hmm. against the people that are in the market the already. The competition, the competition. Like Donald Trump, million dollar people in. And then when you get guess. exactly when you now get them in, and you have you have that you've created market dominance market, for yourself, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. then you can start to demand because then mm -hmm. customer is no longer king. They have you're no now choice. king. Yeah. You give them, they take it. Either they take it or they leave it. When they now pitch your price against the other people. Say they come up to from twenty six, they make up come up to like one hundred and ten. Compared to China, that is three hundred and four. You're like, yeah. ah, you know what? I'm gonna go to Ethiopia store because they're still cheaper yep. than the rest. Yep. I don't, I don't really know how this works because I didn't mm. really study business. But for me, if you really want good quality product, mm. don't you have to take care of your workers? Don't you Absolutely. have to? Uh, for me, don't you have to give them bonuses and, and pay them more? But that's the. That's Charlie, I'm glad that you're saying that because the, the the women are coming to work late. Mm -hmm. They are talking on the job. They are talking to each other, making small conversations. <laughs> They need to keep Honestly, their energy alive. No, but there. They, they say that that's a problem that you know they, they're because they're they're not even that happy what they're getting paid. They are being belligerent themselves. So mm. the women are also not really focusing on really doing the work. <coughs> like you know, like they're not. It's not because they, they're catching them doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. But a lot also understand that these people that we're talking about, the women that are involved in this situation, mm. they're not they're not educated in that. Mm. 
in that um, mm -hmm. in, the, in the culture, in the work culture. Yeah. 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 So they don't know any better. When, you, when, you, when you're berating them for, for coming in late or when you, when you duck their pay because mm -hmm. they came in late, they don't understand what that is. They just know, oh, he took my pay. That boss is me. <laughs> no, you came late to work. Yeah. You're supposed to be at work at a certain time. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, what would be a better incentive? When, mm -hmm. when, you, when you tell them to come to work, because now I mean, I'm coming to work for $26, really, is that, is that that's mm -hmm. what, they, mm -hmm. can't, they, they, they can't let it go because that's all they have. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time, they're not going to put their all in it because you don't have a, they don't have a drive. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you then do in that aspect? If yeah. they had trade unions, mm -hmm. it would be a little different. Yeah. If they had bodies to, to um, represent them, it would mm -hmm. be different because then these bodies mm -hmm. will be calling the shots and telling them, okay, you know what? We want a better work experience for mm -hmm. this, for, my, um, for our workers. Mm -hmm. You send them to like, Training, training so they understand yeah. what they're doing, mm -hmm. how to do it, when to come work to work, and, and, and their work ethics. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think I think the reasoning why I think some of the reasoning why they are keeping the market so low and the prices so low is because they want to corner the market, right? Mm -hmm. Because when you keep, because you know, if you do make it high. Somebody, there's markets that have already been in the industry for years. Yes. Their babies are born sewing and sewing machine. So <laughs> they are already out there and they are charging maybe $95 uh, and compared to your $26. If you kind of start saying, oh, I want to get $95, but your quality of work is not equal to that, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden people are going to go back to the other consumers because, you know, why would, I go, why would I go to you when I go to somebody else and give me the same quality I need for, you know, that amount. Yeah. So I think that what the market Ethiopia and Africa should, is trying to do yeah. is to make sure that they become that giant e giant with the with the pricing structure as well and I think I guess in time yeah. the money is going to raise up mm -hmm. but you know when you hear $26 you're like oh my god it's crazy so why can it's, it's a strategy ground. why can we look for a middle ground yeah. where mm -hmm. everybody's happy the the people that are producing these mass yeah. products are happy mm -hmm. and yeah. the companies are happy as well yeah. why can we meet in the middle ground but the should middle I think let me play the devil's advocate do we think that maybe the companies are charging the other companies a little more but paying the people less maybe they're charging them $50 outfits right mm -hmm. but they're paying the kit the $26 so they could put it in their pockets so how much are they really charging the other the H&M or the Calvin Klein the Tom yeah. Hilfiger to make the clothes compared to what they're giving yeah. the workers so the, is it fairly is it fairly distributed is the, is the the government monitoring that as well the thing is uh, nobody knows how that it th that happens but it is what it is they're, they're collecting you know that, that particular amount at the end of the day so the thing is even in the quest of being tops and the top popular demand for cheap labor and all that mm -hmm. what you need to consider the welfare of the employees mm -hmm. so I feel like the government needs to like you know now come on board and say okay since our hands are tied we have to secure this thing now we have to develop a special program where these people are well taken care of and catered to regardless well of trained. how much that they are getting mm -hmm. yeah that's a small is that a government job or a private job no it's that's a government, government job, job. But, but because, it, because it also impacts the government yes. the government can step in and provide those and services and provide yeah, that, yeah yeah because you're working towards something right so you, you have to take care of it like you're lost <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, it's a, it's a so smarter even, alternative even whether or not it's a private or public sector mm -hmm. that's you know we're talking about the fact that whatever they're doing impacts Ethiopia and yeah. Africa as a continent, yes. it's important that the government, because it's going to aid them, put them yes. on the mark yeah. for that particular industry. Yeah. It's important that the government comes in and give those those yeah. things that like you just mentioned, yeah. like healthcare, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, um, free mm -hmm. housing, subsidies. maybe subsidies yeah. on 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 food, yeah. like mm -hmm. food stamps yeah. and stuff. If yeah. that, that's a thing, yeah. you yeah. know. So, do, can you guys agree that maybe some people take certain jobs mm -hmm. like these jobs because mm -hmm. they see the bigger goal? Yes. Because I myself accept certain jobs, not because of, you know, the pay might be less, mm -hmm. but then I see a goal. They don't look like it though. No, no, no. I'm just saying, I'm okay. not saying all of the. What yeah. do you mean they don't look Wait, like what? it? Uh, they're, okay, probably, uh, they're probably saying, listen, let no me take this little though. job, yeah. pay these little bills, mm -hmm. and then move up. Yeah. Move up, maybe get my own little store, mm -hmm. little okay. kiosk, mm -hmm. where I'm making my own thing. Right. So maybe people take. Certain... Only if they're well educated, you know, mm -hmm. to, be, to be enlightened, mm -hmm. to have that kind of idea. Because mm -hmm. with what I'm looking at right now, it's, it's almost like, let's just get by today. Let's just have food on the table. Let's just keep doing this as long yeah. as it takes. But you know That's what, what I can see right <laughs> in the picture. Yeah. You know what? Slowly, you know, we talk Sorry. about how is Africa ever going to change? Mm -hmm. But I think we're slowly shifting the paradigm. Mm -hmm. okay. Because mm -hmm. now we're being industrialized. We had the cell phone thing that happened, yeah. right? Yeah. Now we yeah. have the garment industry yeah. becoming a yeah. hub in Africa. Yeah. I'm seeing slowly, slowly, oh, we are going to get to yeah. be yeah. the yeah. giant of the yeah. world. Yeah. The Watch question, me, mark my words. The only yeah. question now yeah. is, it's wonderful, all of these things. Our leader is going to allow us really be those giants that we're in. That, that's, why, be, that's why we have to thank God for you the media. You don't have to throw that's up on my party. No, I have Miami, my you have messed up my birthday cake. No, the only, reason, the, only reason, the only reason we have to 
at least be happy about that yeah. is because we're no longer in, in the ice age where yeah. we just hide things within. Mm. Yeah. CNN can come in, anything can come in, the yeah. media can come in and monitor these things, so there are checks and balances. Yes. Yes. This is the reason why we are talking about it in the first of place, course, because yeah, there was an article about it. it. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. these people will keep quiet and suffer right. the workers yeah. for the next yeah. 10 years yeah. and nobody will know about Absolutely. it. So now that they know that the world is watching mm. and we are expecting the best out of Africa, yes. the government will also work on these subsidies mm. if yes. they are smart, mm -hmm. because the workers will soon know their rights, yeah, yes. knowing that twenty-six dollars is not good enough for yeah. them. Well, you know that this is not going to be the first. Like even if this happens, it's only the first time our government will promise things that are not are not. Yeah, but done. eyes are what the world yeah. is watching. Yeah. And but what? eyes are watching right now, though. There are many things that the government, governments in different countries have promised that they didn't fulfill. So. What do you say in that regard? This is a big industry. And I to, add, industry. To, 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 to add to what you said, like uh, I, I'm really excited. You know, with what's happening in West Africa, Nigeria, and Ghana, we have a whole lot of a whole lot of entrepreneurs. You know, who are really forging ahead, doing business, and you know, regardless of the state of the economy and 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 and, and that. So uh, it boils down to you know education and what technology is doing right now. And uh, you'll be very surprised that in places like Ethiopia and other eastern part of Africa. They may not be exposed to this yet. You understand, you know. So when you say these, what do you mean? Exposed to what? Um, how would I put it? Uh, technology. Uh, technology Media. and that 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 education. They are. That, the, the, Maasai, think, the Maasai guys the thing inside is, of Kenya, the trees have cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> the Maasai Kenya that are jumping, whoa, 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 well, have well, cell well, phones. They're they're taking man, pictures of the tree. In the tree. <laughs> With this conversation, yeah. I feel like yeah. you're not giving Africa a lot of credit. You're selling us very very short. You're selling us short as if we are so ignorant and we are still living in bushes. There's some small ones. That's about West a, Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, but it's not Ghana. Only West Africa, my brother. No, no, it's a whole continent. What I'm saying is that a long way to Charlie, go. no, 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 <laughs> guys, I'm, that's not what I'm doing. What I'm saying, you can have the cell phone and not, and not have the idea and the knowledge of what to do with it. Why, you understand? Why you can you can you can have the technology with you, and 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 and, 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 and all you do is <laughs> social media up and down from money to now. You're not what? tapping and you know getting mm -hmm. like getting ideas on what you need to do. We agree to disagree. So noise. I'm not saying that, uh, that we're disagree. not you know uh, uh, like the, of course there is definitely, and that's the reason why I'm praising the level of entrepreneurship that's happening right now in Nigeria, in Ghana, and every other place that's happening. You know, so that's it. So, so they need to be. And lighting a little bit and you know just take it up a notch so can i just say okay. oh my god so these okay. people are not enlightened okay so can i just say one more thing oh, sure. <laughs> i just want to make this point maybe i might be wrong okay so ethiopia is doing this to their own people yes. paying them less for whatever the case might be so what is the difference between what they're doing and what the chinese people are doing coming in our country i mean they are still providing employment mm -hmm. so what is the difference here why are we not too mad with Ethiopia, it's, but it's, we it's, have a, it's, a, it's a government run program, so it's, mm. it's run by the government of Ethiopia, it's not run by a foreign body. A the government the of, of Ethiopia, the they the created a whole park yeah. called Hawassa Park that yeah. is all strictly for garment workers. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. this was created by the Ethiopian government, so that's why it's a little bit more of a positive thing because it's internally created. What hurts mm -hmm. more, your own people doing you dirty, no, or it's foreigners doing it's you dirty? Not, it's not, what it's, it's, your it's own not people. Your, your own people, it's not in Lehman's sense. Put it this way, I don't, I wouldn't be so mad if my brother should beat me in the house but you're gonna get it if you outside are the one beating me hmm. yeah so you see how i rather have that because let, 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 let me know if, okay mm. yes it's my own people that is doing it mm. and okay. i i for know i can see that there's a goal okay for those of us that mm. are in pairing in you yeah. see that there's a goal there's something that yeah. they're trying to achieve okay. Okay. but those of them are there because they don't have imagine if they never had anything to do mm. and government okay you know what come and walk come and do textile they look, they look at it like oh you know what they're giving us a job they're not looking at the the oh is oh, to you have been on the page. They're looking at you just provided food on my table. You're looking you're looking out for me, so my own best interest. Coupled with a Chinese man that comes out from nowhere mm -hmm. and that tells you, you know what, do this. Mm -hmm. You're going to work in a sweatshop under terrible terrible um, um conditions. 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 And then you're still giving me the same amount. Yeah. No, you're not looking out for me. Yeah. You're to, and then mind mm -hmm. you, they also they also they also do demeaning things to the workers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're not looking out for me. I'm look you're uh, someone from outside coming in trying to do me dirt. Mm -hmm. It's a whole, it's a different ball So now game. you don't want to do it because they're doing you dirty. Now they bring their own people to you at Vexen. 
Because sometimes these Chinese people, when they go to these African countries, they bring their own people mm -hmm. because That's they don't want to hear you. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to hear you. Don't bring see, your own people let, to my see, country. Charlie, take, that, take it. I'm Debbie, not saying. Yeah. No one is okay. That no, not, not, no one is acceptable at all because you cannot. You, you can't do that in America. Like you can yeah. come from nowhere, establish something here, and start maltreating its citizens. They're yeah. not going to take that mm -hmm. BS from you. You know. And so if they, if you're receiving that, uh, you know, bad treatment from your own in-house, whatever, it's not okay. You're taking it from outside. No one is okay. Yeah, but we before, would you rather before we that's wrap it up, that's what your question was. All of us was. on this desk, like if we are even we are caterers or we are this or we are hosts, we are musicians, there's time that we've done stuff pro bono just to, tr to prove ourselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we should, sometimes our voices are gone. We have yes. no voice left in our body. <laughs> we are shaking and we yeah. need water. They don't You're give right. us water even. Yeah. They don't give us no plates of food. <laughs> I've worked in right. an event, they gave me no water, no plates of food. It wasn't recently. Or You're anything. Right. And I worked it like a pro. And yeah. I didn't get paid a red cent. Right. Right. Not a red cent. But I did it because I wanted to be on to there be and I wanted to get, to get that exposure. Yeah. That's like, at least this is where I get $26. I didn't even get $26. <laughs> yeah, you had to go. I didn't. So, you know, like sometimes yeah. you have to, sometimes like you have to maybe eat crow sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. For it so to be now. the greater goal, the greater Enjoy good, the, yes, the greater right. good will end up you making more yes, money because yes, eventually yes. people are going to see you and be like, yeah. I, I'm going to pay her, I know her worth, yeah. and I'm going to pick her yeah. up. And, yeah. also and that's a, it. And also have a plan as well, too, because mm -hmm. for this, this has been happening for years. Yes. So we're not sure when it's going to stop. We're not sure when. 2014. 2014. We're not sure when Ethiopia finally will get to that level that they want to get to, you know, with the market. Yeah, it's going to get there. there. You know? I think so, that. So why, we don't know. why, why is getting why there? Why are these things not happening in the West? Then, like the West. West Africa, right? Yeah, mm. because West, I, let me okay. Let's, let me just answer that question yeah. for you because yeah. our government is stealing our money. Yeah. They don't. This this government has invested money and built these parks, mm. these garment little areas. Yeah. They they <laughs> paid for it and they've created employment. What yes. people simplistically having a, a hospital that's walking mm. is a problem ha. in yeah. Nigeria. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Having many ambulances in Ghana is mm -hmm. a problem. Mm -hmm. So let us talk about they don't want to pay for it. Like you have to in, to make money, you have to spend money. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. no way you're gonna make money if you're not spending any money. Yeah, yeah. But you can't keep stealing money, the money though. and think the money's gonna appear from they're anywhere. They're not even investing in their economy. They're not economy. Spending they're not. money. Why don't you just take the money and sit God on help it? Help us. Just Case in point. So, so, so my my thing is another thing is this. Why are these? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so since we know this, okay. since we know that we can you know get a lot of things done with that little money. Why can we start our own mass production? So we are waiting for Fendi, Versace to come down to Ethiopia to make garments. Mm -hmm. Why can we make garments like that, mass product, uh, mass produce it Production, and sell it? Yeah, sure. Because you don't have the brand. Because, first of all, and we, we don't, don't have the brand. Number yeah. two, okay, we have the uh, Yabiji. I mean, what, right? is, what is it going to say? Is it going to say made in Ethiopia? Or yeah, what is it going to say? It's gonna, it's gonna, yeah. Yeah. Yes, no. yeah. We Maybe don't have the resources to do that. We don't have the resources. We at do all. have the resources, you don't but have the, the brand problem power is that, that we don't have the brand power. The bandwidth. Because Just say that. we are so. Can we start? We are, I mean, we, we everybody start from somewhere. No lights. There's no, no lights. Yeah, we're, we don't have that. And first of all, we're running lights. Let's talk about Nepa. Yes. Before, before we even have gamma industry like this on this magnitude, can the lights stay on more than two hours? But you know what we have though. We have to put that will work. That's what we do. We have to put that will work. You for that, that of, of course, course. Of money. Course. so let's start. But they create I mean, infrastructure. We have to create infrastructure, and we also have to, and like you said, Charlie, we yeah. if we're interested in fashion, we're interested, we have to go back and invest in businesses, mm -hmm. and hopefully they don't chop all our money with bribes before oh, we they can are. Go, before you know, we could even before you could even be, let's say I went to Nigeria with a million dollars. Yeah. I'm like I want to start my own business oh, before I sorry. pay everybody. Oh, I paid like several say, hundred thousand yeah. dollars of He's my money. Around. All I have is a hundred thousand to pay workers to build new building to get my my infrastructure. It's not fair because they. As you come in at somebody that's not yes. from there, they will charge even the people yes. that are there trying to do business. Before Very they true. you will pay bribe, yeah. you will pay this license yeah, fee, this for, that yeah. license fee. There's they don't make it easy for you to create true. industry in our some of our West Africa countries. You can't yeah. believe that up till now, internet is still like a big deal. Because the huge major telcos in Nigeria and other West African countries, they you know run diesels and everything to you know, keep to that company running. Company. So they have to get their money from data and charge you and everything and all that. Internet is still like one big thing. When there's you know? so we, 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 we when, don't, I don't think we have the resources for any what, mass production. Right right now. Now. When, we suggest, um, when we suggest projects like yes. this, the people that are involved in this project, they never look at the bigger picture. They always look at what I can get right now, right here, right now. Mm -hmm. And they, ne they never see past. They, never, they don't have foresight. Mm -hmm. So because of that, they just 
come in with that or more time I collect. So mm -hmm. can I collect yes, now? That's that's it. How do I make one and one? Make my own cut of it, mm -hmm. and then if it goes into the drain, it goes into it's the drain. drain. That's the reason why we have a lot of unfinished projects, projects. in yeah. different countries in Africa. Yeah. Yes. A lot of unfinished. You have projects mm -hmm. that are being cons uh, constantly getting funded yeah. mm -hmm. by incoming administration, our way yeah. administration. They keep yeah. funding the same project over and over, over again because the people yeah. that are there yeah. look at it as a milking pot. Like I'm just gonna keep getting mine, yeah. Yeah. and mm -hmm. that's that. And Debbie, you just really, they, a, a article just came out a mm. day ago saying that Nigeria is the worst place for you to invest any money. Even <laughs> investors that are foreign, yes. they're telling them, stay away from Nigeria. No because the money is, the, you, don't, you don't ever make any money. Yeah. People are like selling their businesses, don't want to have business in Nigeria. People, by the time they have bri you have bribed these people, and then if you, for you to even take your stuff on cargo ship to take their charging. <laughs> so they said that do not invest in Nigeria. Yeah. And that's so sad. It's really yeah. sad. So what was the message right now? Um, if, if, if these governments are watching right presidents. now, if the government is, is watching right now, or yeah. even the the workers mm -hmm. wa watching right now, what is the message you want to leave them with? I think patience is one of the messages. Yeah. Patience that it patience. is going to get better, but do know your rights and do know start to collect the information. And you guys work together, even if it's starting your own personal unions Trade together, unions because stuff. unions were started in, in little rooms mm -hmm. with a couple of people, and they started something where they write letters to the company or whatever. So you can start your own community organizing with the small group you already have mm -hmm. to make sure that you're getting, you know, you're getting advocacy. But no, it's a new industry; it's growing. You yeah. can't get as much as other people, yeah. but you can definitely grow to become a giant where of you're course. making. Absolutely, what you deserve. And the government of, yeah, of, of Ethiopia, see to the welfare of your employees. Mm. Empower the trade union as well. Mm -hmm. We know that you have a plan to get the country to the level that you want it to go. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, amazing. Industrial but at the same time, not at the expense of your citizens. Make sure you take good care of them while you're running your plans. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, this we're all good. All right. Yes. Yes. Thank you for having mm -hmm. the conversation, and we want to thank you for tuning in once again. Mm -hmm. Comment below. We want to hear your thought as well. Okay. Until next time, this is Mina TV, and you're watching the ABS show. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.